Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome I'm Renee I'm a senior in high school so basically it's my last year in high school and I'm currently taking online classes due to the pandemic anyhow so for today I will be having a study with me video since today is a holiday for my school I decided that I will catch up with some lessons and do some advanced studying and complete some of the fairly easy requirements before we actually get into all the studying and all and all the completing of requirements I'm first going to create a list so that I have an outline of what are the things that I want to accomplish today so basically that's why the list is here but I don't need to necessarily pressure myself into finishing everything because I still have enough time to do some of my requirements tomorrow and the other next days but I would just like to finish as much as I can today since today's a holiday and I won't have any classes and basically the rest of my group mates are on break so I have time now for myself so first let's create the list so now I'm going to list down in here everything that I plan on doing today. After listing everything that I could possibly think of at the top of my head, I then turned on my laptop and started getting to work. 
since our classes are now online, the teachers are giving us our lectures in advance before even conducting classes so that we can take some notes already. While I was studying, I then noticed to hear drops of rain on my rooftop and I couldn't afford to just miss taking a video of this because this is absolutely one of my most favorite weathers. After admiring the view for a few more seconds, I decided to go back and write up my notes again. So the lecture that I was studying was about median information languages. Basically, we were studying about the codes, the camera framing, camera angles, technical codes, and everything about the audience as well. What I was most drawn to though was the camera angles because the teacher decided to use Harry Potter shots as examples. And here I was just creating a PowerPoint about the significant contributions of thermochemistry. Basically, it's a branch of chemical thermodynamics which studies the relationships between heat, work, and other forms of energy in the context of chemical and physical processes. At this point, you're probably wondering why am I studying in bed? Why am I studying in the place that has the highest probability of reducing my focus and becoming unproductive? Well, that's not entirely the case for me. The only time my bed becomes the worst study place to be in is when it's at night. But in the mornings, being in the bed does not affect my focus. Even since I was freshman, I was able to do math problems in my bed early in the morning. And that requires a lot of focus. My next target was now to check my written work and performance task in my capstone subject. Usually, I transfer it to my desk at this time, but then I wanted to finish half of my work before dinner. When I was done eating and had returned to my room already, the first thing that I do is light up my candle. I then resume to revising things on our paper. I did not only check the grammar, but also whether or not the content for our materials and methods section are complete. Afterwards, my next target was my biology lecture, which was about the evolution. We did not only tackle about the famous Darwinism by Charles Darwin, but also the geological timescale, evolutionary tree, and the mechanisms of evolution. When my teacher started talking about the genetic drift that occurs in all population, but its effects are strongest in the smaller populations, I remember the drifting in the Pacific Rim movies. <laughs> Hi guys! It's finally the next day and I just wanted to update you guys on what happened yesterday because I afterwards I was like really so tired that I just didn't have the energy to do an outro anymore. So I just wanted to update you guys that um, so far in the list that I've created, um, wait, one, two, three. Basically, there were only five things that I wasn't able to do, which I'm I'm quite happy about. It's not like um, I'm cramming or anything. Although there were some things left, I'm still glad that I was able to do majority of the things in my list. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I would love to know what time of the day do you think you are the most productive? Because basically for me, like I've said in the previous video, it's mostly the early mornings. I'm not sure why, but it's usually the early mornings that I am most active for some reason. So yeah. And please like this video if you want more of this kind of content. And don't forget to subscribe. Have a lovely day.